Matt Ayes, um, you've done your swim this morning. Uh, yeah. How did you think it went? Um, not that well, actually. I didn't hit my personal best. Yeah. Okay, it was a uh, 101. Um, you, what, what were you sort of looking for? Actually, I was trying to hit like 58. Really? Yeah, that was my aim. At least uh, my personal best was actually 56, but I uh, kind of aimed two seconds slow because I stopped swimming for quite some time. And how did you rate your performance over the weekend so far? Because you went yesterday as well in the relays. Um, yesterday the release went quite well, what I can say. Um, we didn't end up uh, last or we didn't end up first also because it's kind of competitive in this um, box competition. Yeah. And you've got the 100 meter backstroke a bit later on, is that yeah, right? Later um, on. How confident are you going into that? Um, well, I think it's, I can say maybe I'm going to try to hit as close as my, uh, to my personal best. Yeah, that's what I hope for. So what, what time are you looking for? What's um, your PB? Probably 112. 112, around yeah. 112. And, uh, from a Sunderland perspective, of course, yesterday we had Johnny Carlisle winning two medals for Sunderland yeah. yesterday. Um, has that given the team a bit of a boost coming into today? Yeah, he's an Olympic swimmer. Well, he's kind of like an inspiration for me. Yeah. So, of course, he's kind of like um, a good support, um, moral support for me. And just finally, how have you and the rest of the team found the whole weekend? Have you enjoyed it being down here? Yeah, definitely. It's in Sheffield, so... Everything's different in Sunderland. Um, the there are a lot of people. First time, this first time ever, me competing in um, England in UK. Uh, yeah, it's very in, exciting and interesting, and it has been a very interesting experience for me. So Georgia Fuller then going for Sunderland in the heat of the 50 meter butterfly. Sorry. had strong swims earlier in the 200 free and the 100 free this morning so she's away she's very early into her stroke georgia fuller she's currently leading just at the moment slightly ahead of the rest of the field going well in lane two is helen mitchell from leeds met with georgia fuller going along very nicely indeed sarah nichols from plymouth she's leading it out now with georgia fuller in second place as they enter the final 10 meters georgia fuller still striding on she's stuck to vaughan well so far this weekend it looks like it's going to be Nichols of Plymouth will take it on the touch. Yeah, Nichols takes first. Second place though for Georgia Fuller, 33 2 0. Another good swim for her. Her third strong swim of the weekend. Well done, Georgia Fuller. Um, great swim this morning, you set a PB in the race earlier on, um, what are your feelings? I'm actually pretty satisfied and uh, very surprised because that's a, a very big PB, it's like three seconds. Uh, unfortunately it wasn't good enough to get to the finals but we are slowly getting there. It's only three positions from the finals so I think it's just a matter of a couple of competitions. And what, you know, when you come to these events, obviously it, the likes of Loughborough and Bath are the ones who are going to dominate. Um, is the focus mainly on PBs for athletes from Sunderland? Oh, in the case of 200 IM, which is actually a very specific event, I am more looking forward to getting all the work I've done and putting it against Bath and Loughborough because those are top, top notch universities. Uh, it's, it's unforgettable experience to race against teams that have so many Olympians and world record holders. And you went in the 1500 uh, a couple of days ago on Friday. Um, that was another solid swim. Um, are you grateful for the, the rest in between, uh, having a day's rest after the 1500 to recover? Oh, I wouldn't lie. Uh, one, one day rest between 1500 and uh, 200 IM uh, was, was a very, very big relief. Like I, I could just kick my feet off for like a few, few hours, <laughs> which, was, which, a, which was a very big help and support. And you've got the 400 freestyle later yes. on. Um, are you confident heading into that? 
Uh, yeah, I'm very confident. I will be heading to the post very confident about 400 freestyle because that's one of, one of my main events at the moment. I feel pretty, pretty good warmed up and rested after 200 IM, so there might be some good swims today. And what's the tag? Is it another PB or do you think you can maybe reach the final? Um, that will be hard to reach a final actually uh, because me and a couple of swimmers are still in the middle of the training but uh, I think there are some big chances for the PB. So it was a busy morning for Sunderland here at Ponds Forge in the penultimate session of the swimming here at the Books National Championships. The main headline from a Sunderland perspective of course Johnny Carlisle reaching his third final of the weekend of course, yesterday he won gold in the 200 metre backstroke and bronze in the 50 metre backstroke. Well, he's reached the final of the 100 metre backstroke now, qualifying sixth fastest. That will go off at about 3.30 this afternoon. Other big headlines for Sunderland, Georgia Fuller had an excellent morning in the pool. She neatly set a personal best in the 100 meters freestyle coming second in her heat and then in the 50 meter butterfly a short time later she also came second in her heat with another fast time and also a mention for michael kotlyovsky he set a personal best of more than three seconds in the 200 meter individual medley so johnny carlisle then he already has two medals to his name he won gold of course in the 200 meter yesterday 50 meter bronze so this is halfway in between the final of the men's 200 meter backstroke the final of the men's 100 meter backstroke so they get away then willis making a good start over then farley so here's johnny carlisle then it's a reasonable start for johnny carlisle Going well, two lanes outside him is Ryan Bennett. He started very strongly indeed, but it's number lane three, Joe Elwood, who won yesterday's 50 metres. He took on the gold yesterday, so it's as we come to the turn then, it is Joe Elwood leading the way. Second, Sam Strawn. Third is Ryan Bennett, and fourth is Johnny Carlisle. So he's lying just outside the medal now. Carlisle is right in the mix for the medals though now, as he strides back down the back straight. 25 metres to go, he's firmly in medal contention here, currently lying fourth, Johnny Carlisle, can he fight back and claim a medal? It's currently Sam Strawn who's fighting hard to take it, Carlisle's just slipping away here, another medal's going to be beyond him, first goes to Ryan Bennett, second Sam Strawn, third Joe Elwood and Johnny Carlisle outside of the medals, it's not to be this time round, he finishes fourth in a time of 56.88. Brilliant, Johnny. So we've had the 100 metres today. We'll start with that. Um, fourth place, agonisingly, so close to a medal. Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, it was okay. The time was all right. It wasn't. I wanted to go a little bit faster. Um, it was a little bit slower than what I did in um, Belgium the other week. But yeah, I've been, I've been concentrating on my 200, and that's uh, the best chance I've got to make commies. So yeah, it, it was all right. Time like it'll, it'll come down um, when I rest up uh, for for comedy trials. So is the 100 still sort of in your mindset or is it definitely the 200 that you want to focus on? Um, next couple of weeks I'll be definitely focusing on the 200. Um, it's, been, it's been in my head, um, the 100 through the year. I just spoke to my coach there and he said, next, especially the next four weeks, it's just going to be all 200 work. So it's, be, it's the best chance I've got to make commies. And like with Liam Tancock and uh, Chris on the 100, they're only going to be taking about two, I think. Um, It'll be very hard to make the 100, so yeah, definitely the 200 would be the focus. And how do you judge sort of your performance over the whole weekend? Are you satisfied with it? Yeah, I'm really, yeah, really satisfied. Um, like the, the, the 200 itself, like 201, or this, like, I think that's the fastest time I've actually did in season um, without a rest. And hopefully next week I'll take a little bit more time off that. It'll just give me a little bit more confidence uh, for the trials. And we've spoken at great length about you know, what comes next, Berlin, the Commonwealth. Just how much would it mean, uh, the Commonwealth in particular, because that's a big, big event, how much would it mean to make the England team for that? Oh, um, it's, it, it's my, it'll be my first major meet for GB. Um, I've been to other little meets with them, like um, Belgium the other week. But, yeah, to make that, it'll be a massive step in my career. And... Um, yeah, that's just fingers crossed and um, just try my best when I get there. And just finally, from an overall point of view this weekend for Sunderland, how have you sort of judged the entire team's performance? Yeah, it's good. Like, 
I can understand it's not uh, everyone in the team's not full training and uh, that they've had fun and they've um, they've had um, you know they've hit some good times and they've they've got their goals out of it um, and yeah we, we, I think we were, I looked before we were 14th or something and I think that's the highest we've ever been um, I don't know after the the relays obviously but um, yeah they've all been supportive supportive and um, yeah, I can't, I can't say any more about the team really, it's, it's, it's a good team.